Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 11th of November 2024. I hope you are feeling well, enjoying yourself, having a good Monday. Some some of you can't have good Mondays, I know, if you're in a boring job or something. But anyway, try to have your best Monday. Every Monday. <laughs> Does that make sense? Not really, but anyway, you know what I mean. Life is important. It's important to enjoy it. Um, I'm uh, if if quality of sleep is dependent on levels of exercise, I think I might be in for a good sleep tonight. I uh, upped my uh, swimming game today. I gave myself an extra three hundred meters onto the normal one kilometer that I do. I know that's not much, but I'm not a great swimmer. Uh, I normally swim a, a kilometer a day, but I pushed it up to thirteen hundred meters today. So I was thinking about that. Did some lots of and I've walked so much today. I've walked almost 10 kilometers. Now, I know those of you who live in cold countries are thinking, so what? That's not very much. But I tell you, for people who live in Bangkok, we don't walk anywhere. We just simply don't walk anywhere unless we have to usually. <clears throat> but I'm taking it as kind of exercise. And I've walked almost 10 kilometers in 35 degree heat and massive humidity as well. So uh, I've done pretty well there. And uh, the only thing was, though, I was frustrated because one part of the journey I was uh, hoping to take from the train station to the place that closed at 2.30, a kind of uh, business place that I had to get to by 3.30, sorry. Uh, and I got there and I hadn't realized that the local school, which is full of rich kids, uh, turned the street into a one way. And it meant that I, the motorbike journey that I was going to take, which would take exactly one minute, uh, to whiz down the street, um, one or two minutes. Uh, the motorbikes couldn't go because the police had turned it into one way for the rich people to go and pick up their rich children from school. So I had to run along, run, 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 run. <laughs> and I got there at 3.31. Was there a chance they were going to serve me? Not a chance in hell. I'm afraid not. No way. So uh, I have to go back tomorrow, spend more money Uh on transport for no good reason really but anyway that's that what's going on in the world uh, Trump's tariffs are going to cause quite a lot of problems for world trade I think uh, more than people have recognized nobody's I haven't heard many people particularly talking about the problems that of manufacture um, because uh, it I depend I suppose it depends on what uh, if, if these US tariffs go ahead and increase uh, he's talking about massive tariffs on part on on chinese goods and uh also high tariffs on goods from other countries uh we don't know if it's going to go ahead but if it does um it co could cause lots of problems for global trade partly because uh in modern manufacturing uh you know people use the global supply chain and that means that things are not entirely manufactured in one country parts are manufactured in various places and assembled Somewhere, even sometimes sub-assembly in one country and then full assembly, final assembly somewhere else. So, you know, when you see something that says made in and gives the final country of origin, that's really a lie. Uh, you know, that's only possibly, you know, 5% of the truth, 10% of the truth, because some of, uh, much of it, 90%, may have been made in other places and brought in. So if, if uh, tariffs appear on parts then uh, just everything is going to get uh, a lot more expensive, I think. And uh, But, um, of course, for the rest of the world, there's a bit of an opportunity to kind of uh, uh, push America out if that does happen. And uh, certainly, I mean, in, here in Thailand, our major trading partner now is China, not the U.S. China has outstripped the U.S. in terms of trade. U.S. is number two, but China is our number one now. And uh, that gap will continue to widen, I think, if uh, America does go ahead and and have uh, uh, Im imposed tariffs on uh, import imported goods. And of course, it's likely to spark a global tariff uh, 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 re re um, uh, reprisals against the U.S. and people will put tariffs on goods coming out of the U.S. as well. But as I say, because of the way goods are actually made uh, nowadays, global supply chain, etc., um, it's going to be uh, interesting to see what happens. When I say interesting, I mean painful probably for most people. All right, <clears throat> shall we get on with the game of Sudoku then? LA Times, 
expert level puzzle I've been rattling on for a bit prattling on for a bit I should say we've got eight blocking those squares shall we put an eight here and begin like that I saw also while I was chatting away there I saw a pair now where are you oh there we are two and four blocking across here two and four blocking across here and two and four blocking down there so we have two and four in those squares and clearly we can work out what goes here this is going to be six seven nine six seven nine uh, I can't say which is which, but this is 2 and 4. So we'll be left with what, 3, so 3 blocking across there, that's our 3. 6, 7, 9, 2, 4, this is 5 and 1. Uh, let's see. So does it give us anything with the 1s? We get 1s down. Okay, so we've got 1 blocking across here, 1 down here. Oh no, I almost made a mistake there. Almost made a boo-boo. I was about to say one in those squares, so one down there, but I was wrong. That's not true. So don't listen to me. We've got ones up there. Oh, I see three across here and across here. Before I do anything else, let's just put the threes there. Three blocking down here and down here and across there, so we'll go with three in that square three down here three up here three across there there's our three before we start worrying about the ones and the fives we might do the easy things first mightn't we all right let's come back to it then so ones here anything uh, not much twos are there and there and there there down here I'm not sure threes are finished already fours as, are, as we know are in these squares here fives are in those squares but we have a dearth of fives otherwise right it's just that one down there sixes sixes are in those squares six blocking up here six across there that will give me a six in that square <coughs> sevens like this obviously sevens over there sevens aha okay we've got seven blocking here seven blocking here seven blocking here and in this block we know that seven must appear in one of these three squares so it's got to be there now the 9 blocking across here will give us 9 in this square and the last number was it 6 wasn't it? Indeed it was. 6 across here, 6 down here, so 6 in one of those squares blocking down across there, across there. I'm leaving a few gaps but you can see 6 is going to go there. <coughs> six blocking those squares there six blocking oh have i got it wrong i've got it wrong forget that i was going to say something that's not going to come to pass <coughs> uh oh no seven eight there Why not look up the top? You'll find a seven there. Oh, indeed. Eight across here, up there. There's our eight. Seven blocking down there. There's our seven. Seven across here, across there, down and up will give us seven in that square. Missing numbers here are one, five, six. We've got one, five as a pair there. <coughs>
change on the twos. Threes I've got. Four. Still got, oh, I should probably investigate. Now I've put some stuff over here. I should probably investigate this, shouldn't I? So I've got two and four in here. So these are not two or four. They must be one, five, six. And one and six are in the same column. So that is going to be five. So that can't be five. That's got to be five. And this is our one. One blocking down here, one down here. There's one. Ah, um, now, uh, I said this is 2 and 4, didn't I? 2 and 4 across there. So this is a 1 in this square. So that can't be a 1. That's got to be a 1. This will be a 6. 6 blocking across here will give us 6 in that square. 6 up to the top, 6 across and across there. Finishes off the 6s. <coughs> across here or one across there and one up there it means we get a one in that square there's still no change on the twos Join fives. Mm. Okay, seven like this means we'll get seven in that square. And seven across here, across here, and down there for a seven. <coughs> Three, six, and seven are finished. down here and down here will give us a one in that square one across this row across this row means that's one one up here one across here gives us a one here and I believe it's a five isn't it it goes there <coughs> now five blocking this square and five is in one of these empty squares here blocking up there five blocking up there that gives me a five in that square
Okay, two up here, up here, and across there means we get two in that square now. Two across there, across there, up there means that's a two. Oh, missing numbers here are what? Four and five. So these have to be eight and nine. Any help on eight? Yes. So eight blocking up there gives me the eight in that square and the nine <coughs> in that square. Excuse me, my voice is a bit croaky. Don't know why I haven't been speaking today. I've been running, but not speaking. Four and five here. Any help on four or five? No. Uh, what are we looking for here? Four and eight, I think. So eight blocking up there. There's our eight. This would be our four. <coughs> four blocking down there. There's our four. This is two. I do remember. Uh, last number to place there is a nine. And there's not much more to go, I think. I have a feeling we've done this game, really. A uh, little bit to go, but shouldn't be too tough. Four blocks this square here. That means that's got to be a four for that row. The last number in that row is a five. Five also necessary there. Uh, five blocking down and across there means we get five in that square. <coughs> and five across here, across there and down there means that there's a five. And that's the last digit, five. We can get this. All we have to do is work out what goes here. What goes there is four and nine. So we've got four blocking across. We get the four there. We get the nine there. And now we get this, which is eight. 8 across here gives us 8 in this square. Last number to place here is uh, 9, I think. Yep, and this is a 2. 2 across there, 2 down there. There's our 2. Last number to go here is 4. And this looks suspiciously like a 9. <coughs> Right, four blocking up here puts four into that square. This would be a nine. Nine blocking down, there's a nine. And eight finishes the game. That's a pretty straightforward game from the LA Times, their expert level puzzle. I'll see you another time for another Sudoku. Take care, bye-bye.